Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Melanie. Of course, I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but I have a new tutorial for you and I hope you like it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call it yet, um, but I used purples and purple tones and um, like a frost and I don't know. <laughs> it's been too long. I don't know what to call it, but I like it and I hope you do too. Please continue watching and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So a base is a must for me. So I'm using Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just working that all over the lid. And this is one of the new shadows that I got from Mac Pro. This is um, uninterrupted and it's just a beautiful color that I'm going to use as a transition shade. This is another new shadow that I got. It's called Plum Dressing by Mac. And I'm just putting that right into my crease, a little bit under where we put uninterrupted. But I'm just working that into the crease, making sure we get the most color payout there. I felt like I lost a little bit of my uninterrupted shadow and um, so I'm going back into my upper crease with that shade. Just working that in and making sure everything is blended out perfectly. This is a oldie but goodie. This is Sketch by MAC and I'm just using that with a pencil brush and placing that directly into my crease, kind of carving it out just to make sure the color is deposited right where I want it. And of course, blending that out with Max 217. This is either a 217 or a Sigma E25, if I'm not mistaken. They're both similar brushes, but you want something similar to these brushes so you can blend it out seamlessly. Now this step isn't necessary, but I want this color to really pop, so I'm using NYX Jumbo Shadow, Jumbo pencil in milk. I always do that. And I'm blending it out. I'm sorry to flip you off, but I am blending that shade out. And um, yeah, we're going to place Vex on top of that. That's this shade here. Um, it's just a pretty, very iridescent uh, shadow by MAC. I felt that it really goes well with purples and um, cranberry colors and I just wanted that color to really pop you necessarily you don't necessarily have to put um, milk on your shade first but I just wanted that contrast of color so I'm just going back in with sketch and carving my crease out again um, wherever we've lost the shadow from placing you know other shadows on there I just want to make sure that's really defined and of course blend that out Now I'm taking Max Vanilla Pigment. Um, this is from the Holiday Collection last year, but they still have the Vanilla Pigment. I'm just using this in my tear duct just to brighten it up a little bit, and it looks like I used too much, but I'm gonna blend that out and just kind of brighten the eye. Just make sure they're like they they are open and nice and wide, wide eye, bushy tail. Um, now I'm taking Sketch under my lower lash line and I hate this part because my eyes are sensitive but I, I decided to do like a little extension in the <laughs> tear duct. I don't even know what to call it. Um, I just brought it down a little bit to make my eyes a little bit, um, I don't know, a different shape but I don't know, stepping outside of my comfort zone and I did not include the clip of me applying my um, my wing liner because it seriously took 
forever because I was trying to be in frame and I messed up and I, you know, it just took me extra long. I don't know why. I also try to use a new gel liner that wasn't cooperating. I'm used to using liquid. You know how you go back and forth, back and forth, and you kind of forget once you, you know, use liquid for so long and try to go back to gel and you're not as good as you used to be until you keep on doing it. I don't know. Practice makes perfect. So I'm just extending. <laughs> that was a whole lot of nothing. Now I'm just extending the inner tear duct, making like more of a cat eye shape and making that point in the center and darkening that with my, um, I think it was the NYX fat liner or whatever you call it. And I'm just applying lashes here and um, yeah, that's really self-explanatory. Just getting them on there best as I can. Now applying mascara to the bottom lash line and also to the top to merge those, uh, the lashes, my, my lashes and the fake ones together. And then I'm just going back and intensifying the color wherever needed. And that's pretty much it. I thank you so much for watching. I had fun making this and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.